Coinvert.com will show you how Coinvert Machine app and Cashier app works. Let's open Coinvert. Here, you will see how to access Deposit Coin button for a customer and Cashier button, which can only be accessed using an admin password. Once you click Deposit Coins, Customer need to enter a valid phone number. If you did not enter a number, you will see this error message. If you enter a non-valid number, you will see this error message. Once you enter a valid phone number, it will turn on the coin slot and the coin hopper then we we'll proceed to the next page this is the coin deposit page you will see types of denomination quantity and total amount for each denomination and the overall total of deposited coins you will see two buttons on this page back button which simply goes to the previous page Checkout button will turn off the coin slot and coin hopper and then goes to the next page. Here is the checkout page. You will see the total amount of the coin deposited. Customer needs to select the type of transaction. E-Money has two options, Gcash and Paymaya, which are currently the dominant digital wallet in the Philippines. You will also see here the computation of the service charge for digital money, which is 2%, and for cash, physical money, which is 3%. The total cash out is also displayed on the screen. It is the total amount deposited less by the service charge. Once the customer selected a type transaction, it will go to the summary page. The machine will send a text message to the phone number of the customer and the cashier with the amount of transaction and reference number. The summary page will stay on the screen for 10 seconds, then will automatically go to the home screen. Now, let's proceed to cashier access. When you click cashier button, it will ask for an admin password. For now, let's enter 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the default password for now. On this page, you will see a sign-in option for the cashier. Username and password is needed. There's a back button, create account and log in. Once you click create account, it will ask for an admin password. Let's try to enter a wrong pin to see the error message. Now, let's enter the correct pin. On this page, you can register a cashier name, password, and their phone number. The system can only have a maximum of 3 cashier login. Let's try to register a new cashier. Let's say, 1 is the cashier name, password is 1234, phone number is 0919-1234. 567. Then let's save it to account 1. Let's try to sign in using the new cashier account that we created. Let's enter 1 and one, two, three, four. 
you will see a pop-up notification saying welcome to cashier let's click ok This is the page for redeeming reference number. Let's try to enter the reference number that we have earlier. You will see here the reference number, date of transaction, phone number, type of transaction, total coins deposited, service charge, total cash out, and status of the transaction. If customer changed their mind about the type of transaction, you can tap this type of transaction and you will see a drop down menu. You can select whether it is Cash, Gcash, or Paymaya. Once you selected one, the system will recalculate the service charge and total cash out. Let's click Redeem. The status of the transaction will change to Claim, then Redeem button will be disabled. You can click clear to enter a new reference number. Let's enter the same reference number. As you can see, status is still claimed and redeem button is still unclickable. Once you select reset, you will see the quantity and amount for each coin deposit and the overall total of coins inside the machine. Once you click claim, it will ask for admin password again for verification. Once you entered a wrong pin, you will see this error message. Let's enter 1, 2, 3, 4 again. It will reset counter on the machine and send a text message to cashier that coins inside the machine was collected. Let's sign in again to check if the machine counter was reset. As you can see, the quantity and total are now zeros.